Mega Man X4. But if I die at zero, the video ends. Let's get this started. Oh my god, is that radical? You know, one of the most interesting things about this game is that I actually play Zero more in this game than X. I mean, not because he's the best character in the game, but like Zero, like, he's more playable than X, in my opinion. Plus, like, I mean, I'm more familiarized with the aura I go to of him, so like, yeah, that's why I go with Zero the most, so. Now we're on the opening stage, Scott Lagoon. Same old X's, except, you know, music change, so. But aside from that, it's same old, same old. Go for the end, defeat the Dragoon. Simple stuff. This is the first time Zero is actually fully playable in an X game. I mean, he was playable in X3, but like, he was basically a glass can in that game. But you couldn't get hard tanks or sub tanks with him. You couldn't defeat maps with him. And we're thinking about it is that like, if you die with him once, you cannot play him the rest of the game, which, you know, sucks. But here, you know, he's not like that. He is way better than X3. He controls better, you know, all that stuff. And plus, he has a sword too, like a Z Saber. Which is actually badass in X. I mean, X is also fun too, but like Zero, like I said before, is most playable in the game, in my opinion. Not that I mean, too, Zero has the more grounded story in this game. I mean, X is more simplified. I mean, you have double, you know, turning back on him, but aside from that, it's just, you know, simple. But, you know, with Zero, it's more grounded. You have Iris. To deal with, you have Colonel, you have Rebel Force happening, like... It's also very important for Zero's arc in later X games. Which, you know, makes this very special. Also, did you know that the X series was end up with X5, but... And of course, we went to the Zero series, but... Kakon's like, nope! Well, it's, uh, Milk the series of X6, X7, X8, and Kane and Fudi had to, um... Do an ending in X6, where Zero went to sleep for a thousand years to the future. We're supposed to lead to the Zero series, but you know, Capcom's like, nope, X7, X8, have Zero there, don't care about that. That's why the Mega Man X, you know, like, story is like a bit broken, and like, Zero didn't do much in X7, X8. I mean, Zero, you know, in X6 had the Nightmare arc, and you know, he came back and all this stuff, but like, I mean, they had to retcon the entire ending of X5 in that, and like, X7, X8, he just like was there. I mean, X7, he did a help Axel out. But, you know, he had to unlock X in that game, which is stupid. But I mean, yeah, that's why Zero wasn't read really as like important in X7, X8, because you know, they had an ending in mind. But you know how Catcom is. Another thing about X4 story I don't like was actually they cut off most of the main characters that were introduced in this game, like near the end of the game. So like. Iris, Double, Colonel. Like, I just, I mean, Colonel made sense for the storyline. But, like, Iris, I feel like she should have stayed a bit longer coming, especially since, like, Zero was, so, you know, able to repair himself in X6. And that Iris is a robot, like, she can get repaired easily, but, I mean, what can you say? Okay, we're on the side of Peacock. Um, this is the first take over Zero. I mean, last video didn't go in order with X, I mean, it was a video, but here, it's Zero. I'm more skilled with Zero, so we'll see how uh, far I go to. But here you got to like be like how fast you can with this stage, because like um, it's very timed. And like if you do uh, get faster here, you do get like a sub tank. Or if you go with X, you get an armor part, which is nice. But Zero, I can get the sub, you know, tank, and that's pretty much it. Very easy stuff. Like here you got, the, well, forgot to get the sub tank here for Zero, but. There you go. What I've been too about this game a lot is that like Mega Man 8 had the same thing too, is that like, um the stage is split up into two parts. It's like a Sonic level, which I love a lot. I mean, it's also in a thing in, you know, the way to X games, you know, X5, X6, and X7. I'm not sure X8 had that same thing too, but there have been lots that played X8, but yeah. I like the uh, you know, stage split up into two parts. It's very, you know, nice and unique to the uh, formula. I'm really hoping future Mega Man games, you know, the classic next year is bring back this uh, sort of style. Play. It's like very nice to have, rather than having the whole stage in one go around. Okay, now onto our first Maverick. Let's see if we can be able to uh, defeat him. Well, I mean, because in the next two video, we didn't, uh, wasn't that successful at all. We, you know, defeat and got defeated by the Maverick. But we'll see how it goes here. 
Okay, not Whoa. successful at all. No, 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 no. And... Okay. <laughs>